hey guys welcome back to my channel today in this video we'll be making a spaghetti wrap top that you can see on your screen so i already have my pattern paper on my work table and the first measurement i'll take is my round bust circumference divided by four and i'm going to add 1.5 inches to it for seam allowance so i'll take the same measurement all the way down to the base of this pattern paper and i'll connect my dots into a straight line so the next thing i'll do is to take half of my shoulder measurement which is eight inches i'm going to take it from the um straight line that i already made so i'm taking my measurement backward and what i'll do is to come down by eight inches also which is half of my round arm o measurement so measure yourself whatever you have is what you will use so i'm going to connect the dots from my shoulder measurement to meet the dots on my arm o line and then i'm going to rule a straight line across because this is where my arm o is going to sit so after doing that i'm just going to cover out my arm o The next thing I'll do is to come down on my shoulder line by one inch for my shoulder slope and on the neckline area I'm just going to take um, my natural neckline so for the width I'll take three inches and for the depth I'll take two or three inches this is not important so i'll use my ruler to cover out my neckline i'll be doing a round neckline and what i'll do next is to slant my shoulder slope into the neckline so i've gone ahead to do that and this is what i have so remember we are making a wrap top so the um, part of the pattern paper that is left i'm going to extend it from that straight line i will extend it by six inches and then on that six inches line i'm going to go up by 2.5 inches you can do two inches you can do three inches and then i'll connect the dots from the base to this um 2.5 inches i'll connect the dot into a straight line just like you see me doing so remember this top is a spaghetti strap top meaning it's not going to have a sleeve so what i'll do is to measure on my shoulder line what i have there is five inches i'll divide it by two so whatever you have on your shoulder line divide it by two and mark the middle points after doing that i'll determine how long i want the front of my spaghetti strap to be which is five inches so i went down by five inches from my shoulder line and then i'll connect the two points together like this so i'm going to form another arm over this i'm going to place my ruler on the five inches arm um, strap and then i'm going to connect to meet um the formal arm o you can use your free hand if you don't have a ruler so i'm just going to connect it like this so we have a new arm o so what i'll do next is to extend from the five inches to meet our um the wrap that we are going to have on the front part of the top so i'll use my ruler to slant from that five inches to meet the 2.5 inches mark that we um left earlier so if you don't understand what i'm saying just look at what i'm doing so the next thing i'll do is to take my dart so take your dart before you cut out this um, pattern paper i'll take my nipple to nipple measurement divided by two which is four inches i'll mark it from that first line that we made and then i'm going to take the point where my dart is going to stop which is one inches below my um bust point so for me mine is 11 inches so i ruled a straight line what i'll do is to take half inch on both sides and then i'll connect it and yeah we are done with the, um, drafting the front pattern of this top in case you don't understand anything you can go ahead and ask me in the comment section so in case you're wondering the length of what i have on my pattern paper is 13.5 inches i'm going to increase it after cutting out so i'll go ahead and cut 
my top out like this so this is what we'll be using for the front pattern i'll go ahead and increase it by two inches because it's too small so we're going to cut on our fabric and we're going to cut the back pattern first so i'm going to fold my fabric into two just like you see me doing and you can see that i've increased my pattern paper by two inches because i felt like the first one was too small so what i'll do is to fold the extension that we have on the front and i'll fold in the armhole area also that is what we are going to use to cut out the back so i'm going to place it like this remember that my fabric is on fold so your center back should be on fold i'll go ahead and trace out what i have on the pattern paper just like you see me doing so after cutting out i'll notch my dart and then i'll open it up so this is what i have for the back so we're going to go ahead and cut out um the front so for the front i'm going to open everything up just like it was before and i'm going to place this on my fabric and i'll cut out four because i'll be using two for my lining after tracing out what i have on the pattern paper i'll go ahead and notch my dart so that i'll know where to take in my dart when i start sewing so this is what it looks like by the time we are done this is what the front part of the top is going to look like so i've already gone ahead to pin um the front part i have both the main piece and the lining piece pinned together right sides facing each other so what i'll do next is to bring in my strap so the length of my strap is 19 inches which was too long i reduced it later on so i'm going to place my strap inside the fabric okay just like you see me doing on this pointed edge here i'm going to place my wrap in it and i'm going to pin it down just like you see me doing so i'm going to sew the side the arm o the front the base and i'll leave the wrap area open so that i can use it to turn everything over i repeat the same thing for the second part of the front piece and then i'll turn it inside out for the back i'm going to use my bias tape to pipe the neckline and i'll pipe the base also and i'll also take in my dart so don't forget to take in your dart for the front i forgot to mention that earlier so i've gone ahead to sew my front and i've turned it inside out and this is what the two front piece looks like and this is also the back i've gone ahead to pipe my neckline the base i've also taken in my dart i don't have enough fabric that is why i did not use a lining for the back piece so the next thing i'll do is to join the back and the front um piece together so i'm going to place them on each other like this right side facing each other so i'll pin together on the sides like this and i'll use my sewing allowance to join after sewing the front and the back together this is what i have the next thing i'll do is to bring in my rope so the length of my rope is 50 50 something inches as you guys can see already yeah so i have two pieces um for this rope so i'm going to attach my rope to the end of this wrap top on the front so i'm going to pin together like this and i'll go ahead and stitch it down i repeat the same thing for the other end of the wrap top While I was sewing the front and the back piece together, I left a little opening on one side of the wrap top so that my rope can pass through. So one of the rope is going to pass through that little opening and then it's going to go to the back. That's how I'm going to wrap um, this top. So the last thing I'll do is to stitch this spaghetti strap to the back part of this top. So the length of my strap now is 14 inches. I later reduced it to 12 inches which is the exact length that I wanted. And what I'll do is to take this strap like this. And I'm going to pin it to this um, that leg on the back. I 
after pinning it to the back i'll go ahead and stitch it and yeah that is all for this tutorial i hope it was helpful please don't forget to like um comment if you have any question and subscribe to my channel if you are not a subscriber i'll see you guys in the next one